just occurred to me, that's a mix between Mr. Rogers and Darth Vader. If you think about it, just the sound, just the sound. Anyway, it's been a long day. Harry Reid agreeing with fellow Democrat Max Baucus, either pony up more cash or this health care train is going to run off the tracks. Washington's already tapped out. Costs are going up and it needs more dough and fast. And that has got former New Mexico, New Mexico governor, I say that five times fast, Gary Johnson, one of the classiest acts in politics, uh, saying not so fast. Uh, governor, very good to see you again. Great to see you, Neil. Uh, I, I think we've got to balance the budget. We've got to address the entitlements. That's Medicaid and Medicare. Only way we fix them, in my opinion, is devolve these programs to the states, block grant the states a fixed amount of money, 30 percent less than what we're currently spending, because that's the amount of money we're printing these days. Well, are you would devolve this. You mean kill the whole health care thing? Yes. Now, now the, the how, argument how, against doing that, now, I'm no expert, they said trains already left the station and they were already talking about it getting derailed, but that's it, that it's so in, ingrained that it's too late, you say? Well, in this case, it's, uh, we're, we're growing a federal uh, bureaucracy. We're going to grow a new federal bureaucracy. Clearly, uh, you know, Reed is talking about needing more money to implement this By the program, way, so. something you saw years ago, and in the middle of the presidential campaign, when they used to talk to you, um, that it, it, it was no way to add it up. And, and, and I know Democrats laughed at the notion. And now they're, they're saying just what you said. Well, it's uh, it's uh, Medicare. When Medicare started, it was going to cost an absolute. It was going to cost pennies relative to the dollar that we're spending today. No, it started out as a sixty-six million dollar program. <laughs> it's a trillion dollar program today, and it's growing. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not going back. So, but what did you see, Governor, in the health care thing that now has gotten to the point that they want almost want to start from scratch? Harry Reid is covering, as you know what, and Max Baucus before he retires is trying to go out with some dignity, I guess. But what did you see that just wasn't coming together? Well, as governor of New Mexico, the budget buster is uh, Medicaid. And of course, the states only have to put up 25 cents of the dollar that gets spent on Medicaid. Uh, but it's open ended. Uh, and that's really the budget buster. So if uh, if I were block granted a fixed amount of money, 30 percent less than what the state of New Mexico uh, is currently receiving, and told to create a health care safety net, an effective health care safety net, I absolutely believe uh, um, in, in, in my heart of hearts that, yes, we can do that. But the notion of who's in need and what has to get delivered when the federal government defines that, there's no end to this. There's absolutely no end to the amount of money that, uh, that everybody's liable for. Nobody knows what the end, end dollar ends up being. You know, I always think of every big initiative, whether it was President Bush's uh, drug prescription benefit that grew you oh, know, to a few oh. you know, hundred million and turned out to That's be... That's why I signed up to few be a hundred million. Well, but, but my point and is... And I'm being facetious. Right, but it's, it's now out of control. So um, I'm just wondering who's going to foot the bill to fix this. Well, I think it all ends up short term. We got a federal federal. Uh, we got the central bank printing money. So short term looks pretty darn rosy. But long term, I think unless we fix this, uh, we're going to experience a monetary collapse. And when you say a monetary collapse, what do you mean? Dollars aren't worth a thing because of the accompanying inflation that's going to go along with this. But that's uh, been like waiting for Goodell, right? Maybe we're starting to see signs of it with the well, Chinese no, one. Sh sh short, short, short term. Look, short term when the Fe when the Fed it's a is gift. doing it's a gift. It, it's it, it's it's rosy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as reflected by the stock market, you've got a growing. There's there's been a growing wealth gap though because people with money. You know, this is this benefits people with assets as opposed to. Uh, working class. So this has grown the wealth gap also. Real quick on a personal, the whole political experience for you running for president, and <laughs> independent, I mean, what do you think? Well, um, you know, there was a homeless guy out on the street here uh, in, in my recent trip and I'm looking at him and Gary Johnson! <laughs> <laughs> He loves this show. He has like only a little pocket. Man. Loves this show. Governor, always great seeing you. Thank great, you very much. Always spoke his mind. Oh, it's a rarity. Politics. Yeah. Whether left or right, not too many do that. All right.